Welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and More. <clears throat> Today we're actually going to go over voids and bubbles, okay? Um, how to fix them and the three different variables that you could use to actually change them. So you have the machine side, so the settings inside the machine. You have the material and then you have the mold. So those are the three different variables basically. So I'll let you guys know what a void is. So a void is an air pocket tends to occur in thick sections. So if you have a thick part, it's usually in that section, okay, of the mold. This occurs when a surface cools and solidifies faster than the inner part. So if you look at this picture right here, you can actually see bubbles. So this is a void right here. So what happens is if you were to cut away, there'd be a hole inside there, okay? These are like little, it looks like Swiss cheese, little bubbles all down through here. So what happens is it says as the inner material cools, it also shrinks. But if it is, it is unable to fully shrink, the material molecules will pull apart, creating a void. So what will happen is you'll have like this area here is a real thick section. It will start to cool and it will start pull away from each other and then that's what creates the void or a bubble inside there you do have like surface bubbles that stand up on top of the surface that actually a lot of people see all the time so this would be like a surface bubble so the bubble will come up on top they some people call them gas knots some people call them just uh vacuum void bubbles or i mean there's all kinds of different terminology for it but it's just a bubble that stands up on top of the surface of the part so I'm going to show you guys a video. Here are molded parts with holes or voids inside. On this clear part, the void is apparent. On this opaque part, we cut through a thick section to show the void. These holes are not air bubbles. Air bubbles are quite rare in molded parts. These are vacuum voids that develop during cooling. They're caused by plastic shrinkage. The voids develop during cooling. A hole will suddenly develop in a thick section. What is the cause of voids? The cause is that the plastic volume changes when plastic is heated or cooled. Okay, guys, welcome back. Okay, so these are the three different variables I was talking about. Machine, material, and mold. <clears throat> so if you were to try to fix a void or a bubble um, in a plastic part, to try to, these are some of the ideas that you could try. Now, these are not in any kind of order whatsoever. These are all your machine side ones, so you decrease melt temperature, decrease injection rate, or adjust the profile slower. So your injection speed going in slower would help increase cushion or increase uh, shot size to make your shot bigger to where you're packing more material into the part. Increase pack and hold pressure, increase injection pressure, increase screw back pressure, decrease screw speed so you're not shearing so fast. <clears throat> increase back pack and hold time, increase barrel temperature, decrease barrel temperature. So you can go either way. Um, increase cooling or pause phase or the pause time, what they call it. Check for screw tip or barrel wear or corrosion. So these are things you could try on the machine side, like machine settings and stuff, okay? This would be stuff you could try to check for on your material side. So check material for moisture, check for uneven material temperatures. So you can, you can purge your material out and check and see if it's all melted correctly in certain areas. Do like a melt check every couple things or whatever. <clears throat> this would be on the mold side. So check face of mold for contamination or anything. Parting line is worn or damaged. And then decrease mold temperature. So your mold temperature might be too hot when you're going in there, but like I said, these are a couple ideas that you could try. Um, like I said, these are not in any kind of order. So you might do one, try one thing, it didn't work, put put the settings back to where it's a different setting. Um, 
but I've always found most of the time on like avoiding that. Sometimes if you add more material to it and pack it out a little bit more to get your cushion a little bit bigger, it seems to pack it, it seems to do a lot better. Plus adding the cooling time a little bit more to it to, to let it set inside the mold a little bit longer before you bring it out of the mold. That sometimes helps too. So um, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support for the channel. I do greatly appreciate it. So uh, in the next video, I'll give you a comment down below what you guys would like to see. That would help me out a lot. Okay, peace.